We are gathered here to pay our last respects to our comrade Simon. He was a friend, he was a fellow survivor, he may have been a bit derpy sometimes, but he deserves our respect nonetheless. He fought a lot of zombies and he survived so long on his own without the help of anyone else. He was a fellow comrade in arms. He was one of us. He was one of our family. And I think it's only fitting that we bury him next to the house that we called a sanctuary and the one that he called a home, even if it was for such a short amount of time. So fa farewell, Simon. We will miss you. We will never forget. Hello, my fellow spuds, and welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid with Joseph Caldwell. So we're back. Um, I am back, so I, I apologize. The last couple of episodes were all pre-recorded, so I apologize. It's uh, it's been a bit of a weird one, but it's all fine now. Everything's good. It should go back to normal now. Um, I don't really know what happened, but on my way to uh, <laughs> go dig the grave, Willow seemed to get scratched on her head, and Mark seemed to get scratched on his... I think it was his foot? I don't really understand what happened. I think they went through the hedge or something and both got scratched, so I'm going to want to keep an eye on that. I, I think they're fine. The only thing I've done off-camera really is build the staircase because I was sick of trying to get them to go up and down the stairs without with uh, using the sheet ropes because it was just a pain and this makes it so much easier to use the base one of my commenters suggested basically breaking the floor tile on the top of the staircase and that way if we don't want survivors to come down the stairs for whatever reason we can just break that floor tile and it means they won't be able to come down or we can build it again they can come down and I think that's probably the best way to do it to be honest so I might I might do that this episode I'm planning on utilizing our survivors properly I'm planning on doing proper area select getting all this set up so we'll get some gather wood area we'll get the drop corpses willow did have the corpse on her the whole time so i uh yeah so she simon clearly meant a lot to her uh we're gonna set up a probably another farming area probably in the uh grounds i think i think that'll probably be good i don't know if we can forage actually on the grounds where we are be interesting to see if we can i don't think so but i will i will have a look um, but it'll be good to set all, get all these areas set up properly, just so that we know that it's it's all done. Basically, we can set a guard area, basically expanding most of the base. So if any zombies do come in, they can be dispatched fairly quickly. But I think I just want to get these guys set up so it's more like a proper home than a than a temporary shack for them. I mean, I'm the only one with a bed. They don't seem to have any beds or anything. So I think what I'll do is I'll. Uh, I'll try and make, make them feel a bit more at home. I think that's probably the plan. Right, so first of all, what we're going to do is probably gather wood. We're probably going to make an area over here. I think that would be good. We've got lots and lots of trees around here, so I think that's probably the best plan. We'll do gather wood. And uh, probably span most of this area, I guess. There we go. So gather trees. Area select. Gather trees. Set or gather wood. There we go. Okay, so if any of them are given an axe, hopefully what they should then do is basically just gather some gather some wood, which will be nice. Uh, we're then going to want to have a wood storage area. We'll put that inside. Area select. We'll drop corpse area. That's what we want. We want that like here. There we go. So if any if they have any corpses, they'll just be dropped over there. I think that's fine with me. Uh, we can't gather around here, can we? No. Doesn't look like it, so I think that's a bit pointless to set because they can't gather anything. Uh, there's no fishing area, which is a bit of a shame. I was hoping there'd be some form of fishing, but it doesn't look like it. Guard area, right. Oh, this is just the area that we want to guard then, I guess. So we're going to want to basically take it from one corner of the map. So we'll set it around this base and then we'll just keep going up. So if we... There we go. I just want to keep walking. And then if any... Uh, any zombies get in this general area basically our survivors can uh, take them out which would be nice guard area set there we go i think we're gonna want to set up another farming area to be honest maybe put it the other side of the car park i guess we've already got the gather wood there it kind of makes sense if we want to have a farm there as well so that the land is always clear maybe we should scrap that farming area there now that the base is secure we can actually have a proper outside area as a as a farm that might be quite good we say like this area sure area select uh farming set mark you have a you have a farming order don't you go farm go on can you just farm i think i need to give mark a mark a trowel again i think he might have lost his other one or something i don't know um we're gonna give douglas an axe and hopefully he can chop down some trees which would be nice and willow can just come upstairs with me i think she can uh 
she's on she's on nurse. I don't really want her dirty her hands too much. Oh right, and up you come. We could also place a guard. Well, we've got the guard around the whole thing. Um which is alright, but I'm thinking what we could also do is um but the, the take the take corpses, so we've put that near the entrance way. I think that's probably a good shout. Alright, are you all coming up? Yeah, they all come. Right, Willow, I need you to give order uh Vanguard. That's fine. Mark, what are you doing? Uh talk. I need to get you a trowel or something, and Douglas, I need to get you both. I need to get you both stuff, so let's, uh, let's go downstairs. I'm probably going to give Mark maybe the shovel. He can. He should be able to do everything with a shovel. Give melee weapon to Mark. Mark, now go farm. You seem very confused about all of this. Uh, maybe I need to clear it for him or something. Oh, God. Okay, he just shoves me out of the way. Thanks, Mark. That's, uh, that's just great. Uh, maybe wood storage area will set in here. Wood storage set. Mark, you are in charge of farming. Go. Douglas, you are in charge of gathering wood. There's no wood around here. Oh, chop wood. There we go. There, that was the right order. Fine. Excellent. Right, he's going to chop down all these trees. I want your shovel. There we go. Right, okay. Now I think I need to dig some furrows. Fine. Um, there we go. Let's dig, let's dig, some, let's dig some stuff. But Douglas is really on it. Look at him go. Christ, okay. There you go. So, Mark, now you are on farming. Go. There we go. Okay, right. So, now he's going to be on farming, which is nice. Just double check that the area selected for farming is all good. Oh, okay, it needs to be a little bit further along. There we go. Oh, Douglas is going to go look for an axe. I think he broke his last one. Okay, cool. So, that's that's how you do it then, I guess. Excellent. That's a lot of wood as well. We won't we won't have any issues with uh, lighting our fires or having having too few wood because he's just going to destroy all of this, which is amazing. Yeah, and I didn't realize. Yeah, he's, and he's gone got another another log. Well, those bandages left foot. Magical check. Oh Jesus! What's going on with this? Oh, you idiot, Douglas! Hold still. Oh, he's such an idiot. I'll run up and get some tweezers and sutra needles. God, he's such an idiot. I'm going to have to remove all the broken glass on these windows. I don't know why they automatically seem to want to just go in through the broken windows when there's perfectly good doors that are open. It's okay, Douglas. I'm coming. I'm coming. Uh, Douglas, give order. Give order. Hold still. Tweezers. Uh, Douglas... Come on, hold still. What are you doing? Remove glass. Uh, tweezers. There we go. Finally. Stitch. Sutra needle. Okay, now bandage. Christ, you're an idiot. I'm going to have to rip that. That was our only sutra needle. Uh, we're going to have to go find another one. Oh, but God, you're such an idiot. Right, remove the broken glass. We're going to have to just keep removing all this broken glass, I guess. Douglas, what's going on? Why are you banding, banding your foot again? Did you just climb, try attempt to climb through again? You did. I'm gonna. Oh, sit. Stand still, Douglas. Stop. Give order. Hold still. Okay, seriously, Douglas. Follow me. What do you What do you mean? You should be fine. Why are you bleeding again? The only problem with survivors is they're just idiots. <laughs> right, Douglas. Come back upstairs. And I'll patch you up. And oh, we've got lots of worms. So what I'll do. Someone mentioned what I should do is put these worms in the composter, and that will basically make an automated worm farm. So. You can actually live off worms. So if I imagine if you had enough composters, you could just basically live off worms. I need some. F Did you just climb through again? You are an idiot, Douglas. I th you were you were competent. What happened to you? Right, come on then, back upstairs. Let's patch you up. God, let's remove the glass. Touch your needle again. Hey, presto, all done. I swear something's going wrong here. How did you get more glass shards in your foot? Do you not have any shoes or something? You must not have any shoes on, but it... Oh, oh, idiot. Mark, you know what? You're fine. Uh, Give order. You go farm. Or if you're not, then maybe... Uh, Mark, can you gather wood? Gather wood? 
There we go. Okay, you can gather wood. Oh, Douglas, you made a mess on the floor. Ah. <laughs> Stupid Douglas. Oh, I need to find some shoes now for him. Right, Douglas, here you go. Douglas, uh, give clothes military desert boots. Give clothes. We'll give you some socks as well. There you go. Okay, now you're fine. You should have some uh, decent boots. You shouldn't cause a splattered blood mess on the floor anymore. Oh, God, that was ridiculous. Right, okay. I think it's time to go sleep. Oh, after all that, that was ridiculous. <laughs> While we're here, that set the uh, medical storage. So, here. Seems like a good plan. That's medical storage set. Excellent. So then if they need medical stuff, we'll just pop all the medical stuff into there. And that should be fine. Oh, look at that. Eight logs. Well, he's doing his job. Oh, that's great. Excellent stuff. They're just going straight in, dumping the logs. Okay, seems to be doing one at a time. Um, I wish he kind of do more than that, but it keeps him busy, I suppose. I don't really mind. I thought you were... Uh... Yeah, go go, go do farming. That's what you're meant to be doing. <laughs> so he should hopefully just do odd jobs out and about if and when he feels bored. That's what I gather. That's why Willow picked up the corpse downstairs, because it was in the base area, so... Um, she and that's because she wasn't doing another job she just went and picked it up anyway so i think that's kind of just how it works is they will actively seek out jobs if there's nothing else to do and seeing as mark has the shovel hopefully that means that he's uh done a lot oh 19 logs that's nice that is a lot uh should we just saw them all up guess we could okay 57 <laughs> 57 planks okay that's um that's cool. What can we do with 57 planks? Jesus, when do we level up first aid? I reckon that's when we were trying to fix Douglas up and it was freaking out. Oh, that's weird. Okay, we're nearly at level 6 then. I didn't even notice that. Okay, so that for, from Douglas somehow glitching out and he kept walking in glass, we, uh, we managed to get our first aid up to nearly level 6. Okay, so if you want to level up first aid, just make sure your survivors don't have shoes, basically, and, make, and let them walk through glass. So actually, our grinding shouldn't take that long. We've only got one more level to go. That's quite cool. I am I quite like that. Right, we've got some tree branches. We're going to grab some of these because I know a lot of you want me to carry on using spears after well, I experimented them when we went to the dock. So I think I am going to continue using them. Um, I did quite like using them, actually, so it, it'll be nice to actually do that. Our Rambo knife, I don't think we can use as a spearheader, unfortunately. It would it would be amazing if we could, but I don't think we can. From what I've been told in the comments, the quality of your spear is reliant on a number of things. Carpentry is one of them, and your maintenance skill is another. And then spear affects, I think, how good the attack is and how strong it is, like, in terms of damage output. But your maintenance skill and carpentry skill affects how long the durability is and that sort of thing. Which is pretty cool. So let's go make a couple more spears. And what we can then do is attach... You can attach ends onto them, which makes them a lot better in terms of quality and damage output, which is nice. We can attach an ice pick to it. That might be quite good, seeing as we don't really have a use for the ice pick. Attach a scalpel, that's a massive waste. A fork, a bread knife. Scissors, spoon. <laughs> Just have a, a spoon on the end of a spear, I suppose. A hunting knife. We'll attach the ice pick to one. I don't know when the spear breaks, whether you get the knife back. That'll be interesting to see. And we will use the bread knife, I guess? Don't really want to waste our normal kitchen knife, because we've only got one, I think. Right, okay, so we've got three different spears. A bread knife, a hunting knife, and an ice pick. You see the damage output. So condition on that one is amazing. Um, damage is pretty good. The condition on that one, for some reason, is atrocious. Oh, but you can reclaim the hunting knife from the spear. We can repair the spear with hunting knife with that. So you can reclaim it. I don't know if that works after it's broken. Interesting if you can. And then the ice pick one, the damage is decent, the condition isn't. This is interesting, right? Okay, so I don't know whether it's just the hunting knife was low quality before we did that. I probably should have checked that, but that's eh, still quite cool. Well, we've got our characters now basically doing their own thing which is nice there are marks busy with his farming and gathering up wood douglas will be back to chopping duty 
And uh, yeah, and Willow's just going to hang out, be a doctor if necessary, but she's kind of my medical assistant, really. So I'm not too fussed about her helping out. She's she's kind of the, the special one in this sense. I do want to get more, though. I think it'd be really cool to have at least two survivors on the wooden gate over here. I think that'd be really nice. But what I'm going to do is I've got a few bits I want to do, one of which is I want to get another gate built, basically. I think one isn't really good enough. I want to get it doubled up. And now that I've... Uh, I've got all the wood I could possibly have. I think it's a good it's a good time to do that. Right, so we should have enough stuff. What I kind of want to do, there we go. We've got some beds here. Try and pick up these beds. Hopefully I get them. There we go. Fancy bed one, fancy bed two. Right, fancy bed, equip secondary. There we go. Uh and grab that. There we go, that's fine. Right, okay. And then we want to <laughs> pick this one up. Too heavy for inventory. Great. Okay, drop that then. Did we get it? No, I don't think we got it. Oh, that's really frustrating. Oh, we got one bed for one of them. That's something, I guess. And we should have a spare another bed upstairs. We'll go see if we can uh, pick that up. Okay, here we go. Let's try and pick up the large double bed. Large one bed. Two, three, four. Are you serious? I didn't get it all. Oh, for God's sake. Right, okay. Oh, I was one short. That's really frustrating. Oh, right, we'll go put this bed up. And then... um. We'll, go, we'll keep going across, see if we can find any more furniture for them. It would be nice just to set them up so they are in, like, they have a nice actual... Like, they could have a floor each, basically. It would be nice to set that all up for them. Right, okay, so we'll set one up here. There we go, okay, right, that, that's one bed done. Let's pick up all this scrap wood. I don't think I don't think we need all this. There we go, and that's a nice little, nice little room for them. Let's go across the other place so we can get a couple more beds for the others. Let's keep disassembling the doors, try and get doorknobs and things. Oh, we got a doorknob. Great. Okay. I'll take that as well. I think... Is this the only bedroom in this place? Yeah. Okay, we actually got all four bits. That's amazing. Um, okay, so, so we could say Douglas or Willow can have this bed. Getting tired, but I'm going to want to build another gate. So I think across here. I think that'd be good. So let's uh, do... Door. We've got double doors. Come on, door, double doors. Here we go. Douglas has just decided to follow me, despite the fact I told him not to. Ugh, oh, Douglas. What What do you want? Eh? What's the matter? you got dirty bandages again. Okay, you're fine? Good. I don't know why you came out to follow me. Uh, wooden wall. Let's just keep making these walls across. Right, okay, well, that's the double gate anyway. Um, we've got quite a lot of wall left to do, so I'll quickly do that. And then I'll, I'll be back when it's done. You know what? I think I'm going to demote Douglas a little bit. He's 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 been really frustrating this episode. So I think he's going to have the single bed. He can uh, <laughs> he can think about what he's done, um, and he has been with us the the least. So I think it's only fair. Let's grab some nails. As are there we go. We've completed our the initial part of our wall. We just need to actually uh, sort it now, and we're good. I wish I could remove that. I need I need to get an axe or something to do that. About forty planks. Oh Christ. Okay. We have to find Douglas an axe. There might be another one in this uh, carpenter's place. Never know. That's the reason he went in there in the first place. And then he nearly killed himself. And axe. That's all right. Sure. Okay, there we go. Uh, Douglas. Swap melee weapon. Huzzah. So how is this one? Oh, this is broken. Fine. All right. So Douglas, I need you to go and chop wood. Go chop wood. You're the boss. Uh, what are you doing? Okay, that's fine. I was worried it was going to be broken glass. You really need to use doors, Douglas. You're going to kill yourself at some point. If you're doing this yourself, just watch out, because um, <laughs> they are, they do seem to be very derpy, um, especially when it comes to stuff like doors and things. But we've killed 1,193, apparently, now, which is uh, insane, really. Oh, I think we've got some friends. Right, that's, uh, let's test this out, then, I guess. on that side that was pretty good there we go and that's our little secondary gate complete i might even do something across here depending i could do a little maybe that's where i could store something or something um we'll see we'll see how it goes or I'll just destroy it with an axe either way 
But that's uh, that's got a carbon drop a little bit, which is which is all right. Let's eat a cabbage, and what I will do is I will go grab that bed, the uh, the double bed from there, and we'll go set that up for Mark in on the second floor. All right, there we go. So I've got one bit of in each hand, one bit in my main inventory, one bit in my backpack. <laughs> that's that's how you uh, carry eighty when you should only be be able to carry fifty. Oh, and there's Mark. I don't know what he's doing. He's just uh, going for a walk, apparently. That's fine. If he wants to go for a walk, he can he can do what he wants, I guess. As long as he try and doesn't try to jump through one of these windows, it doesn't really matter. I think they're washing in the rain. Seems to be what they're doing. Huh, how weird. Place item like that. There we go. Right. That's Mark's bedroom all set up. We'll just pick up the scrap wood because he's not going to want any of that. Bizarre, oh, there we go. Mark's got a nice nice little uh, basic place. He's got a little, little oven, a little fridge. He's got his... Uh, his little sink there so yeah he's he's got a nice little place now now we just need to set up a little bed for willow but that's not too hard i mean she's she's on the top floor she's dedicated to her work she's she's kind of fine i will find a bed for her though don't worry the only other thing that i could do is basically make some set storage so that we can have tools in one bit we can have food in one and we can do that sort of thing uh the refrigerator should automatically have food in it so that shouldn't be a problem but what I will do is grab some some containers that we can just have on the base base level that we can set as automatic tool storage for them. So here we go. So I picked up three white counters from in here. So that's great. Going to look for wash water. Oh, so that's what they're doing. They're going outside to wash themselves because they're bored. Okay, well that's fine if that's that's what you want to do. That's that's all good with me. Is that all you're doing, Douglas? Seems to be. Right, okay. So, let's place these down then. I mean, that's fine. And then what we can do is we can area select. We can do uh, weapon storage area. Weapon storage area is set. There we go. And area select tool. Let's set that as the tool. There we go. Tool area set. So, there we go. So, now we've got a dedicated tool area to these two. A weapon area to this one. I mean, this isn't obviously the best storage. We we might upgrade this in the future with crates, or we could get proper weapons, lockers, that sort of thing. Make it look a lot nicer. But it seems like they're busy. I don't really know what they're doing. They seem to go outside to be washing themselves constantly. But, I mean, the fact that they're not standing around, they're actually being active and doing things is better, I guess. We've got a nice working farm now, which uh, Mark is in charge of. Got lots of wood, uh, thanks to Douglas. So all in all, it's been it's been quite eventful, and that's how easy it is. You can just select an area, get them to chop the wood, and they will chop all the wood down, which is which is amazing. And yeah, I'm pretty happy really. We've got all sorts of stuff. So we've got all the different crops we've got growing up, going on. I said growing on, <laughs> um, and yeah, it's, I think it's going quite well. So I think I'm going to call it there for today, guys. Just as a little basic run through of what you can do with the survivors. Uh, next episode, we're going to get back into utilizing the chemicals that we found from last episode we're going to do a little bit more with them we're hopefully going to get up to level six in first day which will be amazing um i'm also going to do some more metal working taking apart some cars which will be good because we need to get that skill up to i think it's level five and we're going to need to start doing electrical so i will just start taking apart stuff as well with that so thank you so much for watching guys if you like we're seeing please leave a like and subscribe a massive thank you to all my patreons Petsloff, Overlord, Serath, Drew, David, Aaron, Dale, Mikhail, Emma, Yeast, DeBlag, Rye, Kylara, Daniel, Dama, Len, and Wolf. Thank you so much, guys. You guys are just amazing. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.